Hey everyone, Denise here, back with another card. I apologize for the harsh shadows that are about to happen. I have um, a light shining here, not light shining down. Uh, the lighting in my basement is not that great for this, so we're making do with what we have. So welcome to this tutorial. This is very similar to one that we just posted. It's actually sort of the opposite of another card from the class um, in color and in the way we're pop dotting. So for this, you will have this. Now, this can be, and if, if you've watched my videos, you know I don't know which way is up on these things. So I'm gonna turn it this way. And it really doesn't matter with this particular card. It can be a side, this is the top facing that way for me. This would be opening this way, the normal way. Top fold, side fold, whatever you want it to be. When you put your sentiment on, whatever you decide to put on there from your stash, that's when you'll decide which way you want it to go based on how it fits. So make this card your own. Now, I am gonna tell you like um, I have before, uh, the flower shaping videos are already posted on YouTube. So I'm not gonna spend time talking about flower shaping here because there's a separate video and you may in fact already know how to do it. I did color these with a distress ink, not an oxide, a regular distress ink, re-inker and some water. I just put one drop, that's all you need to start with. Um, same with the green, one drop. I'm on a silicone craft mat. You can use a glass mat, you can use saran wrap, anything non-porous. And I used a water barrel pen. I know some people don't like them because you can't control the water all the time, but I don't mind because I want the variation on here. And also I like to start light and then I can go back for another layer and build. We did use Heartfelt Creations Flower Shaper paper, which is meant to take some water because you shape it. And if you know Heartfelt Creations, you're either shaping them you know, with um, your stylus or if you have the molds at home for some of the flowers, if you own any of those, um, then you spritz them before they go through the mold in through your Big Shot. Um, so it's meant to take water, but not watercolor paper, you know, heavy water like that. Um, but you can, if you want to use watercolor paper the next time you stamp something on your own, just make sure you use the smoother side if you like the watercolor paper better and have at it. If you want to use regular dye inks, you want to color it with Copics, you, I would be careful with the Copic because I'm not sure um, if these were stamped in Memento or not. They may have been, but you may want to do a little test. Um, any, anything. Really anything, the sky's the limit, right? So I would encourage you to make the card your own and make it good for you. Use whatever colors you'd like. For the rest of the card, so easy. So you have in your kit, I'm gonna do this with the top fold facing me since it doesn't matter. So you've got these two pieces besides your flowers, your leaves, and your pearls in your kit. You're going to pop out any chads that are remaining and you look at the die, and if you're familiar with die cuts, you know like there's a good side and a not good side or a bad side. If you're not familiar with it, then take a look, and I'm going to put this down because this, this light is really getting very harsh. Um, take a look at the first side and then turn it over, and you'll see that one just looks better than the other. It looks more finished. It looks a little more embossed. It doesn't look as like the ridges for the cuts aren't there. So that's your good side. Take your dry as clear glue, and if you have a fine tip applicator, now's a good time to grab it. If you don't, that's okay. Just put the glue strategically in these bigger areas. And even if you have the fine tip, just strategically in the bigger areas. You don't need glue everywhere. And once you're done, popping in the middle. Now the good thing is I'm the queen of crooked. So the good thing here is that with liquid adhesive, you still have time to jiggle it around and move it before it's set. So you can get it exactly where you want it. And again, don't worry if you have glue oozing out, just wipe it off a little bit and that's it. <laughs> wipe it off and that's it. You're done. It will dry clear. Now you can maybe see in the video, especially on this, this pearl here. I'm going to try to put that up to the camera. It's a little hard because I'm upside down and I can't tell if it's focusing or not. I apologize if this is Blair Witchy. So that's that. That's this. This one. I don't know if you can see, but there's glue under there. I won't be able to tell till I watch the video. Sorry. But you can see that there's glue, but you had to look to see it. So if 
if somebody's gonna say something about they see dried clear glue, um, we have a rule in our house and in class, they get crossed off the card list. If they're gonna be that picky about a handmade card you lovingly gave them, off the list. So apart from that, we're good. Take this piece. And again, there'll be a better side. You're gonna wanna put some pop dots here. And you're just gonna pop it right up in the middle. That's it, that's all there is to this card. Now I'm not actually making the card because we've decided to make fewer kits. Um, that way we can put more of them out in the store with the limited space there. So I'm not going to make this because I don't want to use up a kit that somebody else could have if they wanted one. So if you would like this, um, feel free to contact the store. I think you may be able to buy them online. And if not, just contact Christina on the Facebook group. <coughs> so we'll go through all that information in a minute. I know I just kicked the table, sorry. When you're done, you're shaping and layering your flowers. Offset them always when you do it. That way they look a little bit nicer. This is really hard upside down and it's lower than me so I'm scrunching down. It's actually kind of funny. Um, you don't like them all there? Well, move them around. You don't want flowers at all? Don't put flowers at all. You want to emboss this before you glue it down? Go right ahead. The card is yours to make. That's literally it. The pearls, I'm going to leave the card. I'm gonna move this one. I'm going to raise this up a little bit. I hope that that, yeah, it looks like that works pretty good. I'm gonna hold this here for a minute in case you wanna pause the video to see where I put the pearls. By no means do you have to put them where I put them, but if you're like me, you follow the sample. I mean, a lot of people are creative and don't, and I love that. I'm not that person. So that's where I put the pearls. You put the flowers where you like. And if this video was helpful to you in putting this very simple because it was all cut for you kit together, please go ahead and give the video a like so we know to make more of them for you as we move forward. Um, also, please subscribe to the channel so that we have the number of subscribers we need to go live with you for play alongs or for paid classes or for anything else like that in the future, which we hope to start doing slowly, maybe by summer of 2023. And also our Facebook group, it's Scrapbooking Stuff Group. If you're not a member yet, please go join it. That way you can see all the upcoming events and projects, card classes, layout classes, crops, all of the things that are coming up, plus all of the specials that they have every week in the store for sale. So we hope that we see you soon. We hope that we see you in the store at a card class. And if not, then we hope to see you online. Thanks for buying the card kit and supporting my classes. Have a great night.